Hey friends, back again. I uh, planned to do this like the very next day and I got lazy. Sorry. Um, so I'm wearing, um, this isn't my shirt, this is Troy's. In response to Zoe, here's my Jericho shirt. Okay, I can turn around so you can see it. <laughs> um, this shirt is actually from 1998. It's really old. And I've got some pictures that we dug out. Um, so let me give some backstory. This is Troy's shirt that I think he bought that night. Um, he was at Nitro in Pensacola, and I was also there. And Troy elected at the time not to go with me because my brother-in-law was getting his tickets. And Troy had a feeling that something was going to go wrong with that plan. So he and one of his friends went. Well, when we get to the place... Uh, wherever they were having it, Pensacola, uh, we didn't have tickets. So he was kind of right. Um, so my brother-in-law runs off and, you know, my dad's like super mad. He comes back and he got us tickets. We got front row. So yeah, um, that was pretty awesome. So I have some pictures that I took that night. It was really exciting. Um, 1998, I've got my mom jeans on. And uh, so here's a picture of me and my dad and some dude. I got an awesome picture of the big show and Hulk Hogan. So you see we were, we were right there. Uh, it was really awesome. Conan. Got another one of Conan doing his signature move. And Kevin Nash. Uh, this was so much fun. Um, Troy ended up, their seats were like way, way, way at the top. Um, so I think he could, he could see us, uh, you know, down at the front. Um, and uh, here we go, Zoe. Here is Jericho doing the line, line tamer on... Um, I think that's Nyhart, Jim Nyhart. Yeah, pretty cool. And here's another one. I've got Lex Luger, Sting, Nash, and DDP all in the ring together. Such a fun night. Uh, Roddy Piper, uh, Bret Hart, uh, Big Papa Pump, Scott Steiner. Uh, Goldberg. Uh, and you can't see his face, but I'm pretty sure that's Juventud Guerrero about to do some high flying. Another one of Goldberg. And here's a really good one of Sting. And this last one, you can't, I don't know if you'll be able to see it uh, because it was um, a cage match, but it's the Ultimate Warrior. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, lots of fun. Um, I remember, uh, oh shoot, what's his name? Um, Stevie Ray's partner. What was his name? Stevie Ray's partner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My bad. Um, Stevie Ray walked by and it was like, it took forever for, for his arm just to pass by. And, you know, I wanted to like reach out and touch him. So I reached out and I just touched him with one finger and then I snatched my hand back because I don't know. I was just terrified. He was enormous, absolutely enormous. Um, but that was a super special night. It was so much fun. I remember, um, you know, during that night, my brother-in-law was going to go get, he was going to go get us some food and he came back with a red wolf pack shirt instead. Uh, so it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, I love going to wrestling matches. We've taken our kids to like one and we need to do that again because it's just, it is a lot of fun. Um, so anyway, one of our thrift store finds, 
there was a section where they had like a bunch of old magazines and there were a ton of wrestling magazines. I could not believe that someone was getting rid of these. Could not believe it. So I picked like six and I just had to kind of go through and be really particular and find my favorite ones. So here is one from April 2002 and I purely picked this just because of Scott Hall. I I just think that Scott Hall back in the day was just the best looking thing ever. Um, love how he's just so big, hairy chest and everything, his attitude and all that. I mean, he was just awesome. Awesome, awesome. Um, okay. Okay. Now, this one, you can't really tell at first. Um, I immediately wanted this because it has Terry Funk, but that's Ric Flair. I couldn't tell at first. Um, and I don't think this one that I read through, but this one is from December 1989. So cool. Can Hogan take the heat? So cool. And this one is from September 1989. I got this one. Again, it has Hulk Hogan on it. But I got this one because it has the Macho Man. And then I noticed it has Dusty Rhodes. Love Dusty Rhodes. And then I got this one because of the cover. Roddy Piper. This one was from December 1989. So 1989 was a good year. I got this one. It's Hogan, March 1990, but I thought this was an awesome cover. Kind of funny looking, but awesome. I love the um, background. And then I got this one because of the cover. This was from January 1991. Mr. Perfect. Kurt Henning. And he perfect. And it's so cool. There's one of these, if I can find it, that had um, some articles um, with uh, Terry Funk um, and Ric Flair. It was probably this one. And it was just like a dialogue of them going back and forth. It was hilarious. And then um, there was an article about Dusty Rhodes. It may have been in this one with him on it or another one um, talking about how, um, you know, people like he wasn't liked because of the way he looked, you know, but he was actually, you know, he was a really good wrestler and had fantastic charisma in the ring. Um, so that was really cool. If we go back anytime soon and they still have these, I will probably get more because, there were, there were some other covers that were really good, but, you know, I didn't want to just go crazy and buy, you know, 30 magazines, old magazines. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like, this one's got Dusty and Dustin, Father and Son, on the roads to victory. You know, like, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm going to just, I'm going to read just just because it's in here. Um, and there's an exclu exclusive with Sapphire, Dusty's manager. I mean... Why not? Um, there's another one. This one's got an article about Macho Man, so I'm going to have to read that. Yeah. So I thought that was really awesome. Um, maybe I can do another video if I, you know, read more of the articles and stuff in here. I mean, it's just really cool. News from the wrestling, wrestling capitals. And this one's got action figures on the back. That is so cool as a Roddy Piper. I would love to know if somebody has that. I pity the man who calls me Lex Loser. <laughs> well, anyway, for all you wrestling fans out there, um, let me know if you want to see more wrestling videos because um, I can easily do something like that. Um, thank you all for watching. Have a good night.